Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to change key commands in After Effects and make your editing more easier, but before we begin I want to say that I have made a discount on AM Film Shake presets, this discount will be able till January 15th and the shakes now will cost only $5. And now let me show you an example of a keyboard, for example this keyboard has the most important button and it is F9, I use that button all the time when I want to easy ease the keyframes and as an editor you will agree that we use that too much in our edits. If your keyboard has that button, you can continue using it, but since some of you may have other type of keyboards for example like me, those keyboards doesn't have F9, it has, but you have to use FN button and then click on 9 to easy ease the keyframes for example, and I believe you will agree it's annoying to use two buttons all the time, so why not to change that F9 button and make your life easier. Go to edit and click on keyboard shortcuts, here you will see all the key commands that are by default in AE. Now for example I want to change F9 button to a number 1 on my keyboard. For example if you don't know what each button does, you can read all commands on the buttons. For example on F9 we can see it says that we can set keyframe to easy ease. And now how to change it, here in the search tab write F9 and it will show you what command is used under that button. Let's double click on that command or on F9 and then press on any button you want to change, for example I want to change it to number 1. As you see new command is created, and now we can simply delete F9 here and we are done. Now whenever I will select keyframes in After Effects and then press 1 on my keyboard, it will easy ease all of them. Let's change one more button, for example I want to change marker command, because my keyboard doesn't have a star button, it has but again, I will need to press Fn and then 8 on my keyboard. Let's search for layer marker. And as you see it found it, now I will change it to a number 2 on my keyboard. But note, the numbers I have used, 1 and 2, both of them were functional, but I have never used them and that's why I set 1 and 2 as my new keys. In your case, first check what new buttons do then change them. Once you are done, click on OK and you are ready to go. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.